Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about variable voltage attenuator and this is going to be a very interesting topic where you can understand the practical application of concept of MOSFET whatever we have discussed in our theory. Okay, if you have taken wireless communication, then you can understand more clearly which is uh, going to be a great issue in wireless communication and how that can be solved by application of MOSFETs. Okay, that's what I am going to discuss in my this video. So see, the topic is variable voltage attenuator. Now, what is attenuator? You already studied in your network theory course in detail. Attenuator is basically performs like inverse action of amplifier. What amplifier does? It amplifies the signal, and in case of attenuator, it reduces it reduces the strength of the signal. Okay, that's what I have written here. Attenuator basically reduces the strength of the signal. When I was discussing the feedback amplifier module, there I have given you some idea about attenuator. That video link I shall post in the description. Description, you can check from there. There I have explained about attenuators in somewhat more detail. Okay. Now in my this video, my approach is how to form a variable voltage attenuator with help of MOSFET. That's what. Okay. So basically see this is one very, uh, very simple passive attenuator we can say. In the left hand side we are providing input and this is basically R1, R2 series combination where across R2 we are taking the output voltage. You all know that uh, this is basically attenuator because V output by V input equal to R2 by R1 plus R2. That is basically what this expression indicates that the output voltage is reduced compared to input voltage because there are some potential drop across this R1 resistor. Fine. Now see here in this passive attenuator case, V output by V input basically R2 by R1 plus R2. That means gain if you consider the gain of this circuit then that is basically a constant that is r2 by r1 plus r2 so r2 constant r1 constant so basically v output by v input anyway it is going to be a constant term okay so whatever you say either attenuation or uh, gain that is going to be constant for this circuit but our intention is to make it variable and where we will apply this variable attenuator I will discuss later but for the time being our aim is how to make this passive attenuator which has a constant attenuation how to make it variable okay how can I vary this by MOSFET okay or by some electrical components this distance so that's what our aim aim is variable making somehow variable voltage attenuator so what you know this is the MOSFET I have chosen in MOS because generally by whenever we discuss any new topic on MOSFET we deal with generally NMOS right instead of PMOS because PMOS has somewhat disadvantage you can say over NMOS because the mu p is that is the mobility of the holes is lesser than the mobility of the electrons right so anyway I am not going to in that detail but you know from my previous video that this MOSFET acts like a uh, voltage controlled resistor in deep tide region that means when vds or drain to source potential is very very lesser than vgs minus vt or uh, uh, vds is very very lesser than vgs minus vt where vt is the threshold voltage then we say that condition is basically deep tide region and in deep tide region the mosfet basically acts like a variable resistor dependent on the voltage okay if you want to know how it is happening you can check the link in the description i shall post okay so basically this resistance value in the deep tried region depends on the applied gate voltage and the formula for r we established as r is equal to 1 by mu n into cox into w by l into vg minus vt so from here it is clear that if get to sort get to source potential that is if vgs is increased r will get reduced and if vgs becomes smaller r will increase okay in this way the applied gate to source potential will control the resistance value right it is clear now our intention is to convert this known passive simple attenuator to variable attenuator so what we will do we will replace this resistor r2 by one mosfet and we will a bias or we will make this circuit design in such a way that the MOSFET will be in 
fifth that we get that is VDS is much lesser than VGS minus VT. So in that case the MOSFET will act like a resistor and that resistance value we can control by voltage and in that case simply we can control passive attenuator to a variable voltage attenuator. Fine, that is what we are going to do. So basically this is one simple passive attenuator. So instead of R2, replace this equivalent model of MOSFET in case of deep tired region and we are getting this. Here the gate voltage which is going to control the value of the resistance R2. Now this is basically the MOSFET representation, right? So just replace the MOSFET by, replace this resistor by MOSFET and that is, this is basically the circuit of Variable voltage attenuator or very voltage controlled attenuator also we can say for R uh, uh, while I was scanning uh, by mistake R was left out so you should write the proper spelling obviously A T T E N U A T O R right so basically this is also called the voltage controlled attenuator because the applied gate to source potential for this MOSFET is going to control the resistance value R two and see. From this expression, it is quite clear V output is directly dependent on R2. Basically, V output is proportional to R2. Right? So, basically, we can say that this for this uh, circuit, for this attenuator circuit, the output and input that is the, you can say the gain is no longer remain constant, or the attenuation is no longer remain constant, it is now voltage dependent because the resistance value is voltage dependent. So that what I have given the name of this voltage, V control, that is the control voltage, which is going to control the circuit attenuation factor, right? So I hope up to this, the concept is clear, okay? You just draw this circuit properly so that you can easily uh, check before your exam. These concepts are very, very important, not only from exam point of view. This will help you to design some circuits to understand what is happening in real life, how the electronics is working behind even communication system, even in very high communication system. Basically, whole communication system is based upon electronics only. Without electronics, you how you can do communication, right? In mobile phone, mobile phone communicates in with you and uh, suppose you are in Bellor and someone, some your some of your friend or uh, your relative in Delhi. How you are communicating through mobile? That is fine. But inside mobile, what is there? Electronics. So how the electronics is applicable in the communication? That is very important for this aspect. Okay. Now. I am going to show you how this circuit, that is the voltage controlled attenuator or variable voltage attenuator we are going to use in real life, okay. Most probably this same you have, most of you have taken the wireless and mobile communication subject. If you have not taken, you may have done your uh, internship in BSNL, from there also you may know that basically what do you do, uh, what we do during communication, uh, what we do that we divide a large area into small hexagonal cells and in the center of each hexagonal cells there are base stations or mobile tower, okay, that's what I have shown here by this symbols, okay, so a large area is divided into smaller hexagons and the hexagons, in the center of the hexagons there are mobile towers, which is basically also called base stations, okay, now see, you just uh, take one hexagonal cell, that's what I have drawn here in zoomed format, now see, in the center base station is there, now suppose one user A and another user B is there, into different location. From the picture itself, it is quite clear that the user A, the distance between the base station and the user A is larger than the distance between base station and the user B, right? So basically when B is trying to communicate or B is communicating with the base station, the signal which the base station will get from the B will be more or the strength of the signal will be more uh, in case of uh, communication with B compared to communication with A because A is at larger distance, right? So, the signal which will arrive from the uh, mobile station A to A station will be uh, weaker signal or weak signal compared to the uh, strength of signal B. It is quite clear, right? Obviously, you can understand these basic things. Now, see what will happen. So, this basically what I want to say, the signal B strength is very high, right? So, very high strength means voltage is very high. So, voltage coming from the mobile station B to the base station A is very high. Then, at least you know this from the basic concept of electronics that we cannot apply 
a very high voltage uh, after a certain uh, range we cannot apply uh, high voltage in a particular electronic circuit otherwise it may go to saturation and proper output will not get it's not an output we will get so basically what i want to say that as b signal strength is very high so it may happen that when b comes more closer to base station this base station then this uh, signal strength is so much high which is getting from the b uh, the circuits which are uh, used uh, for the communication in the base station may get saturated in go to in saturation region saturation region means in terms of electronics i am saying you know basically what is saturation region and the output you cannot properly get okay the circuits may not work properly okay so basically what we have to do we have to attenuate this signal the high strength signal which is coming from b and the attenuation should not be a constant factor it should be variable if v is far away the attenuation should be less if v is closer to the base station the attenuation should be more so that the circuit which is used to demodulate this signal in the base station should not go to saturation region so, uh, so as this circuit uh, in the base station should work properly so we want a variable attenuator variable voltage attenuator or voltage control attenuator whose voltage uh, whose output voltage will be controlled dependent on the distance between the base station and the mobile user that's what i want to say right so basically that's what i have written here in the vicinity of a wireless base station the signal received by a cell phone may become very strong and then uh, there is need of variable voltage control circuit okay there we can use that okay so basically in this wireless communication domain or in the wireless communication application we can use our this uh, very interesting and simple circuit that is voltage control attenuator or variable voltage attenuator okay so this is how you can make a attenuator whose voltage may vary dependent on the control voltage okay and all these concepts are based on simple electronics that mosfet concepts okay basically one simple funda that in deep tire region the mosfet works like a voltage control resistor that's what and this is the whole concept about our today's discussion i hope you have understood clearly if you don't know how mosfet works as a voltage control resistor in deep current region you just check the link given below this is all for my this video if you want to know about uh, more videos related to electronics and communication engineering please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you for watching